Hello and welcome to my vault. I am Xerxes and today we will visit an interesting world of Outward. Together with the DLC, the Soroboreans. Yeah, I think I pronounced that right. I bet you did not expect to see me like this. <laughs> yeah, I decided to uh, try and record my face uh, for this one. Um, yeah, I wanted to go with um, basically a new, um, how should I call it, a new um, Let's Play. Well, you know how I am with Let's Plays, really. I start them, don't finish them, but yeah, with a new game. And I think the the Soroboreans DLC was a good excuse for uh, doing that. Uh, so I actually played a little bit of this game, uh, enough to know that I absolutely suck. So, yeah, uh, I hope uh, you will find this entertaining. Yeah, just checking the time. Uh, well, I'm probably gonna play for about half an hour and see how it works. And obviously, you let me know. Uh, if, um, you know, the, the, my face works with the uh, Let's Plays. Um, obviously, if you are new to my channel, you basically won't care, really. <laughs> if you're new, welcome. Uh, yeah, let's begin a new game. Mm, yep, one player. And we're gonna go with normal. Don't feel like dying way, you know, too often. I'm still gonna die often. As per usual, um, raise uh, Orion, Tramon, Kazite. Let's go with Orion. Uh, let's see. Check our faces. Hmm. Yeah, I suppose we can go with this one. Hmm. Hairstyle. Okay. Right. Not entirely convinced. Or dreadlocks, maybe. Or we can go with this: an onion bun. I suppose I don't know what it's called, really. <laughs> but yeah, we're gonna look like an onion because why not? Yep. Um, actually, let's see if we can get a better face for it. Hmm. Yep. Yeah, let's go with that. Okay, you can decraft most weapons and armors. Uh, place only that item in manual recipe of survival crafting. Okay. Uh, all my life, I've lived within the safety of Shierzo, spared the brutality of the world outside. But life in Aurai is never that easy. For all the safety that my tribe provides, our laws are harsh. We are judged not as individuals, but as bloodlines. The failures of my bloodline weigh heavy on me. My grandmother brought ruin to our tribe long ago, bringing a heavy blood price upon my family. We've paid the debt caused by her actions ever since. Oh, by the way, you'll probably see, um, you know, the my screen, my glasses, unfortunately. I don't know how to uh, tackle that. I joined an expedition across the sea with my old friend Izan, hoping the money made there would be enough to clear my debts. This was a mistake. I'm lucky to still be breathing after our ship hit rocks on the return voyage. Now... I have no choice but to pick myself up yet again and face the wild, untamed land outside the walls. I must carve out my own future or die trying. Fun times. Water skins are the only way to store water. They are essential for explorers and having multiple water skins may be useful. Okay, cool. So, here we are. Right, um... Okay. Uh, as I said, I did play a little bit of it. Okay, uh, I suppose we can grab one torch. 
And actually, what I could do... Could set up kick with E. Yeah, that will do. Okay, so we can go boom. I think it's pretty useful. Alright. Gonna collect some berries. Uh, what's pretty cool is that the game kind of lets you explore a little bit before you can actually, you know, progress with, uh, well, let's call it a main storyline. I mean, it's open world. And I do believe it fits with um, the uh, tabletop theme of my channel, you know, it being an immersive RPG kind of mimicking tabletop uh, pen and paper RPGs. So, yeah, I suppose, suppose we can wing it that way. Mm, I'll grab fishing harpoon. Come on, give me the fishing harpoon. Come on, I want to grab it again. Okay, I've got it, I think. Do I have it? Yep. Cool. Right. Mm. Let's go around and see if I can actually not suck during combat. Come on, grab the berries. There we go, we'll need them. So yeah, this is, in case you don't know what Outward is, it's like a immersive kind of RPG slash simulation with the elements of survival. And I mean, it's, um, it's a good type of survival. Um, basically, uh, you don't get 10 million bars on your screen that show your, like, thirst, hunger, tiredness, etc, etc. It all happens uh, under the hood effectively. And you're only prompted by... Um, you're only prompted, prompted by specific icons that tell you, oh, you're hungry, or you're very hungry, or you're thirsty, or very thirsty, or you're dying, you're overheating, you're cold, etc, etc. Uh, I mean, Stalker had it, and it's an awesome game. This game has it, and I think it's pretty awesome as well. Um, and as a long-time fan of Gothic, games, I think it might be fun to play. We'll see how how the reception is going to be for this on the channel. So, if you want more of the game, you know what to do, you know? <laughs> um, right, let's grab the machete. I'll take your machete. And there is, if I remember correctly... Oh, okay, actually... Uh, yeah, I'm just gonna drink. Yep, cool. Uh, let's take a mining pick, and we are overweight, so I can chuck something away. Because we've got like a storage system in here, so we've got our current equipment, so basically, basically stuff we have on us. Uh, then there is, uh, you know, a pocket kind of bar tab, or whatever you call it. Uh, those are the most necessary things, and then later on we'll get a backpack. And what's a cool thing is, uh, we can drop the bag during combat, so we'll move, uh, you know, a bit more... We're going to be more agile, effectively. Uh, so, mm, yeah, with... Oops. Uh, with that uh, in mind, it's a good idea to keep the most essential things uh, in your pockets, effectively, like your bandages, healing potions, mana potions, what have you. Um, so, I think it's a pretty cool system. But for now, I think I need to chuck something away. Um, because I need... Some extra, uh, basically, mobility. I'll chuck wood away. Yeah, drop the wood. Should be able, yeah, we'll be able to collect it later. Uh, but yeah, let's see if I'll be able to deal with the hyenas. I've noticed I don't think we need a torch. So I'll just put that over here, if I can. Come on. There we go. And I'm overweight, bollocks. There we go. I, let's see if we can kite one. Yes, we can. Okay. Okay. Cool. That worked uh, quite well. We got nicked, unfortunately. Crap. Ah, so it's still recharging. Yeah. Um, a combat system requires some getting used to. You know, it was true for. And we got it. Cool. It was true for Gothic, 
And it's true for this game, I think. Hiya. Okay, can you quit strafing in a weird pattern? Because you're kind of freaking me out. Hey. Okay, let's just be careful. Crap. Yeah, we actually got quite lucky because I managed to kite only, or kite, um, trigger one of the hyenas. Uh, so, we should be able to... What the hell are you doing? Hyenas seem to be pretty shy if you ask me. Crap. I wasted... Uh, let's see if we can actually prompt it to attack. Ah, crap. Didn't work. Okay. Crap. Woo! Okay. Let's just be careful, just... Quick jabs! Uh. I feel the tension, man, I feel the tension, really. <laughs> ah, crap! Ah, it nicked me. It's gonna be close! Uh, okay, we got it. Woo! Eh, right. Who? That, well, what can I say? Ah, I actually dropped the thing. Uh, where is the other hyena? But yeah, that got my blood pumping. <laughs> um, no, I want to loot the hyena, not to kick it corpse. Come on, do not res disrespect our enemies. But, Enemies, I suppose. Well, yeah. Um, and if I remember correctly, there is. There's nothing here, but there is a monk over here. Hello. Okay, so we've got worker boots, we've got improvised bedroll, and we've got a fishing harpoon. Oh, we can actually fight with a harpoon. Hmm, interesting. Oh, we are super overweight. I... Hmm. I guess I'm going to chuck this away. Can we actually move? Yeah, we can kind of move. Okay. Let's go. I'm actually glad that we dealt with the... Mm, with the hyenas. Um, so we got a bit more action. Because uh, once we get to Sierzo, there's gonna be... Mm, a little bit of walking around. You know, just a... Uh, uh, more leisure time, in a way. Yeah, let's collect more gabberies. Yes, I know we are overweight, but we'll rectify that situation very soon. Mm. Let's... Well, it's not like we're gonna get lost here. I know that I left that wood over there, but we wouldn't be able to move without it. And we are getting quite tired uh, by the looks of it. Mm. Okay, and we are getting hungry. But we'll deal with that. Okay, what's over here? Yeah, I'll grab the bandages, definitely. Improvised bedroll. Okay. Let's talk with Izan. What you need? Xerxes, you're alive! You must be freezing. Come, warm up by the fire before you freeze to death. Well, we did get a bit of a movement, you know, just swinging our machete. Um, so, we're fine. Uh, where are we, Izan? The last thing I remember was our ship hitting a rock. We're not far from home. You can see the lighthouse from here, can't you? Ito made it out too. He's making his way home to Sierzo to get to go get help. He's a Kazite. He was born on a ship. This probably isn't the first time he's had to survive a shipwreck. Go ahead and sleep in one of the extra bedrolls. 
If you're still feeling too injured from the shipwreck, go ahead and sleep in one of the bedrolls I laid out, and I'll keep watch for Ito and the rescuers. Yeah, this game has a bit of a annoying um, feature. I've got some bread. Annoying feature that uh, you know, basically, the, the set of semi voiced over, which is a bit. Mm, so let's just kind of walk around here. I don't think I'll need that torch. Let me just hide it over here. Because mm. I think it can actually make us hot, if I remember correctly. Okay, let's use the bedroll. Come on. There we go. Uh, actually, let's eat something before we get, we starve to death. Munchy munchy. Perfect. And for some reason we feel hot. That was some interesting bread. Hmm. Yeah, let's leave for a... Yeah, for an hour. Yeah. It's probably because of the fire. Uh, we're close to the fire and it's quite warm, so we feel very hot. Uh, and confirm. Confirm. There we are. Yeah, just checking your time. Yeah, we're still okay. So we're gonna walk around for a little bit and then, uh, you know, we'll see. We'll play around. Unconsciousness comes quickly. And you dream of being ensnared in something. With a yelp, you jump out of your bed. Relief floods you as you recognize where you are. You are back in your old bed at home, the lighthouse in Sierzo. Izan must have brought you back to your family's lighthouse. Only your aching body tells you that the shipwreck you suffered was not a nightmare. Hmm, fantastic. I'll just have some tea. Yeah. Okay, your temperature is back to normal. Good. Well, we've got some clothes that we can wear. Just basically our basic clothes from the creator. The black worker boots or worker boots are uh, not much of a difference, really. Just a question of color. Uh, so, ooh. <gasps> we can make it. The backpack is very close. Eesh. We can do it. Come on. I believe in you. I've got some spacious pockets, I tell you. <laughs> um. There we go, we're almost there. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Yep. Ooh, B. There we go. Uh, let's rearrange stuff. Uh, so are the heaviest things. That's three. We put that over here, here. Ah, uh, well, that's a lot better. There we go. Okay. Um, let's walk around. There we go. Very nice. Got more boots. Simpler shoes. Delta boots, a dry mushroom bar. Okay, let's. Uh, no, that's not what I wanted to do. Uh, yep. Hmm. Mm, yeah, this should be okay. Yeah, close. Is it empty? Yeah, it's empty. Yeah, I actually say it's empty. Come on, I should really read. Um. Right. Let's collect some berries. We've got jerky. Yeah, that's actually useful. Pretty good traveling rations. I don't think we can actually climb up here. So there's no prompt really, so I don't know if we can actually climb up there. But we can collect some stuff. We've got some bread. We've got Sierzo Ceviche, or whatever that's called. Um, okay, we'll be able to use kitchen, but let's collect stuff from over here. We've got second bedroll. Maybe we'll be able to sell it. Um, right, so we can make... Actually... Um, I've got this recipe right here. Boom. Mm. Okay, we need uh, raw rainbow trout and we need some salt. Now we can make Gabri Tartine, which... Sounds nice. It's basically a bread with jam. Still, I don't mind. Cool. 
Our first crafting attempt. Awesome. <laughs> um, right, we can grab this, but I don't think we need to hold it here. So let's just put it... Yeah, let's put it over here. Cool. Right, let's go out here. Okay. Rise and shine, trog spawn. You think you can nip off for four months and not pay what you owe the tribe? Okay, that's the full thing. A blood price is sacred. You can't just shrug off that responsibility. For as long as you did. If I don't see the money from you by the time I count to ten, you'll regret you ever came home. Uh, that's a bit of an extortion. Um... You know, I can't pay it. All the money we made in Oroshi is at the bottom of the bay. You're free to go there and fish it out? Yeah! You were on that ship too, weren't you? How many lives must your family be responsible for destroying before enough is enough? How do I know you're not at fault? Yeah, I just was there and, and you know, I destroyed things with my mere being. Mm, this doesn't change the fact I have no money right now and I can't pay you. If you can't make the payments you missed, we will seize your home! That ought to cover four months of ignoring your duty to the tribe. Either pay up or get out of our way. Enough of this! Twelve people are dead. Stop this shameful behavior at once! Mm. To threaten someone like this while the lost lives are still fresh is an insult to their memory. Mm, Xerxes is a victim of that shipwreck too. Under the laws of the Blue Chamber Collective, I have declared a period of mourning. You understand what that means, don't you? But, Chamber Lady Aberdeen... Xerxes has clearly been... I said that is enough! If you want to okay. resume discussions after the morning period, feel free. But until then, your concern should be for those whose lives were lost in the wreck. Oliel, see these people off, would you? You heard, Mother. Away with you, or I will personally see to it that you get double shifts of guard duty. Cool. I'm sorry that was the first thing you woke up to. Please forgive them. Many of them have lost family and are not thinking straight. I can't believe they want to seize my home. Can't you do something? If I could do more, I would. The most I can do for you is declare a mourning period and buy you a little time. But if you do not pay off those four months of missed payments on your own, the tribe will have my head. The most I can do for you is declare a mourning period and buy you a little time. For five days, no one in the tribe can ask for what you owe. That gives you a few days to pay back the money. Either gather the money or earn a tribal favor and they won't be able to touch you. Okay. It gives you five days to pay back all 150 silver coins. Uh, use your time to gather the money or earn a tribal favor, then they won't be able to do a thing to you. Yeah. Once you can make the payment, come see me. Please find a way to make it work. Come see me up at, uh, up, the, up at the town hall on top of the hill. Please find a way to make it work, Xerxes. The last thing I want to do is take your lighthouse away. Well, then I have to head outside the walls. That does seem like your most effective option, dangerous as it is. I doubt you'll be able to gather that much in such a short time just by staying in Sierzo. Never forget, no one is an orphan in Sierzo. Do not hesitate to ask the rest of the tribe for survival advice. Cool. We'll do if just that. If you can do a great deed for someone in Sierzo, we will owe you a tribal favor. Which I will accept as a substitute for your payment. Once you're ready to leave Sierzo, speak with Burak, the gate warden. He will judge whether or not you are prepared to face the outside world. Remember, you only have a few days. May your ancestors watch over you. Okay. In actually five days, I think it's not a lot. Yeah. Um, I think it only takes one, well, death or falling unconscious for you to fail it, so... 
Um, it's pretty tricky. Um, I was able to collect probably about 80 or 90 silver in Sierzo. I don't know if you can, uh, you know, do a bit more, but we'll see. We'll see. Let's talk to all yell. I'm glad you survived the wreck. And I'm sorry about your losses. I know how much you were counting on this expedition. That glowing sword is new. When did you get it? Rufus commissioned it for me as a going away present. I was going to leave this morning to go join the holy mission of Elat before Mother could stop me. But with the shipwreck, it wouldn't be right to leave so soon. I have to stay with the tribe until the mourning period is over. Mm. I can't imagine your mother will let you go without another lecture. Eh, I suppose, yeah. I know. Oops. I miss you and Izan too. That was but unintentional. This is the path I choose to walk. I'm done letting Risa decide my life. I want to be part of the greater good, uh, not rule over people. Always strive to be better than today. Mm, that's generally a good principle. Um. Right. Let's see what we can get. There is a quarter stuff in here, but I don't think we can actually do anything with it, so I'll leave it over here. We can collect some berries. There we go, cool. So we're probably going to spend this episode walking around Sierzo and um, getting some stuff, basically, you know, things to sell, you know, just some basic equipment, um, and we'll slowly work towards the, um, you know, 150 silver mark. Okay, let's see what... Uh, we can loot over here. I don't think there's... No, there's nothing here. So as I approach this, no, no, nothing here. Um... Let's check this area. There should be something here. Yeah, there's a chest. Uh, what have you got for me? It's randomized, so... Oh! A bright nobleman hat. Elemental resistance potion and rage potion. Temporarily increases your weapon's impact. Oh. This. This. This is amazing. <laughs> oh, yes. <laughs> mm. This is fabulous. <laughs> Okay, let's walk around and let's loot whatever we can. Really. More berries, so we'll be able to get something to eat, I think. Um. Okay, there's nothing here. This lady, if I remember correctly, collects curiosities and she's got a mission for us, but I don't think it's an easy one, so... Um, there's an inn over here, we might check that out later. Yeah, there's an exit over there. Oh, yeah, there's, uh, I think... There is... Aha! Yes! There is a junk pile. Ooh! A nice water skin, and we've got a straw hat. Um... Cool. Okay, our bag is a bit overweight, so we'll need to deal with that. Sell some stuff. Uh, right, this is 4 resistance, 2 impact resistance, 5 hot weather. Uh, 2, 3, 7. Okay, the resistance is higher. But this one, stamina cost minus 5%. I think that kind of makes it a bit better. Cool, but we've, yeah, we've got water skin. I mean, well, technically, we'll be able to get another water skin in uh, in the town. So, we'll see how it goes. We're not going to leave yet. Mm. 
Okay, there is a trader over here, and behind the trader there is a hatchet. Oh, okay, we can get a wood. Can we actually? Ooh, can we actually sell it? I'm curious. Greetings, friend. I want to buy something. Oh uh, no, we can sell wood, unfortunately. Selling great axe, hatchet. Yeah, let's sell the great axe. We can sell this, this. Uh, one, one, three. Yeah, they're exactly the same, so we might as well just get rid of them. Mm, so we'll get 19 coins for all of that. Got some iron scraps. We need to do... Ooh, we need to do something with the meat. Um, I don't think I'll be able to cook it. Is that... What is that? Oh, that's a luxury tent. It looked like a dynamite. <laughs> uh, spikes, palladium spikes. Wow. Okay. Thick oil, small sapphire. What does a thick oil do? Flammable fluid used to refuel lanterns and to make incendiary weapons. I like the sound of that. Uh, I'll keep the meat for now. Uh, uncommon reinvigorating insect that lives in plants and is used in advanced recipes. Eating this insect protects from cold. Well, I suppose we can. I don't know if it's a good idea or not. We'll sell it. We need the money. Mm. Elemental resistance potion. I don't know whether I should sell it or not. I'll keep it for now. We've got 31 silver, which is not too bad. Oh. Now we can move around. Um, can go through here, get another machete. Uh, let's talk with Izan. I wish I could greet you with a smile. We both know that won't happen. Elat's breath, what a disaster. How are you holding up? Yesterday I was leading our most ambitious expedition in a decade. Now, all that's left is this wreck and a tribe in mourning. I'm not holding up much better than you are. What happened? Why did our ship sink so close to home? The lighthouse wasn't lit at the time we made impact with the rocks, I'm certain. I remember thinking that we should have seen it by now, right before we hit the rock. We lost everyone who was below the deck at the time of the accident. Half the ship came apart before I was able to run aground. So we lost everything, all the coins, the spices, the armor and weapons. Unfortunately, yes. What little we could salvage from the wreck has gone to the families of my drowned men. My finances are reeling from this loss. I have barely enough left to start over. Still, we have no right to complain. All we lost was some coin and four months of time on this failed journey. My sailors lost their lives. Izan, I have five days to gather 150 silver or I lose my home. How much? Damn, that's right. You haven't been able to make payments on your blood price while we were gone. You always get the short end of the stick, don't you? The blood price on your head is disgusting. You weren't even born when that tragedy happened. Mm hmm Okay. Uh, I welcome the challenge. Besides, it's an excuse to get out of there and find adventure. More like find an early grave and lose a leg. Hmm. What doesn't kill you makes you stronger. My prosthetic arm and a leg are a testament to how stupid that statement is. Or sentiment. Suffering doesn't help anyone. I often wonder if we're alive because of our tribal laws or in spite of them. Huh. I'm sorry I don't have better news. Best of luck with squaring things with Risa in the short term. Well, I guess I truly am on my own then. Actually, I do have a small stash of goods I hid in case of disaster. I hid it near the old shipwreck to the south. When you open it, remember that the moon commands the stars. You'll know what I mean. Remember, you're not just a link in a chain. You're worth more than the blood in your veins. Okay. Right, um... Now, I suppose we can... 
do a bit more fishing. We've got seaweed and we've got raw salmon. Cool. There should be a few more places where we can do it. Boom. Raw rainbow trout, larva egg. Okay. That sounds ominous. Okay, we can take the water skin. Hmm. I had an alarm on my phone. Okay, I did not hearing things. Hmm. Right. More fish. More fish. Uh, I'm not gonna gather salt water. That's death. But I wonder if there is a possibility to filter. Mm, salt water. So if there is, you can let me know. Mm. Nothing here. I suppose we can chat with you, Fishmonger Carl. Greetings, friend. Want to buy something? Okay. Eggs of exotic insects with diverse restorative cap capacities. Eating it raw carries a chance of disease. Yeah, that's what I thought. Mm. Okay. Mm. Worker boots. I think, yeah, we can sell the worker boots. Just realize we don't need them. Um, seaweeds. Produces a medicinal tea. Well, yeah, we'll keep it. We need to learn how to make that tea, by the way. Um, keep two water skins. I suppose we can sell the eggs. Ah, uh, yeah, let's sell the trout. Why not? Keep the scraps. Confirm transaction. Yeah, we're slowly getting there. Cool. Mm, oh, yeah, there's another thing I can use over here. It's a makeshift shield. Perfect. Hmm. Right. I don't think there's anything over here. Nope. Um. There are, I think, some troglodytes over here. Yeah, I did walk around, you know, Sierzo, and I seen a couple of things. So you won't see me surprised, <laughs> at least in this area. Um. I think. Maybe I I have missed something. Okay, we can get over here, but we can collect some recipes. Uh, okay, anything here? Nope, nope, nope. Can go up here, but can we find anything useful here? No. Mm. Nope, that, oh, yeah, okay, yeah. Um, right, those guys are trainers. What can I do for you? I want to train with you. Um, I can teach you a way to use the one-handed axe to cripple and slow your enemies. It's 50 silver. Uh, price, not now. We're not gonna go for this, I think. E Amber, my friend. Ready to continue your training? How to... can you teach me how to fight? What's the best way to prevent taking hits from enemies? When the enemy bears down on you, a swift dodge will get you out of harm's way. Uh, if your foe is quick, you may want to drop your backpack. Most backpacks slow down your roll. Blocking will prevent the enemy's physical strikes from harming you. But every hit you block will drain your stamina. To block projectiles, you must use a shield. Against magical explosions, you will need to dodge. If yeah. you need to get into a better position, or to flee, just sprint. Take care not to run for too long, or you will be too exhausted to fight. Okay, okay, so we've got some training here. Uh, elemental discharge. Gong strike. Infused weapon shield. Infuse fire, infuse frost, shield charge, rush forward to hit foes with your shield for high impact, can't hit target twice, skill cost 100, e we can't do that just yet, the arm, fitness, 
Okay, so increases health. Uh, okay, cool. Yeah, we'll deal with that later, but for now, let's see. Master Chef Aragorn. Can I help you? I want to buy something. Can we actually? What can we sell over here? Uh, looks like we can sell same things really. So the the game doesn't uh, kind of force us to sell specific things to specific people and unlock certain things. Yeah, we've got some recipes in here. Spicy tea. Um, a cooking pot as well, that could be quite useful. Oh, we'll see, we'll see. For now we still have some stuff that we can use. Alright, uh, makeshift leather hat, leather attire, leather boots, cool. Actually we can learn all that. Nice. Okay, I've got two machetes. Okay. So you can, yeah, can go through there. <laughs> um, I don't think there are many places that we can enter, which is a pity. And that's a cool backpack. So we can't talk to you. Hmm. Is the... I wonder if there are more junk piles kind of hidden somewhere. Okay, crab eye. Cool. Don't mind that. Oh, hello. Pitchfork. Okay. Mm, I don't know what we would use pitchfork for, but I am intrigued. Hmm. Okay. There's more berries over here. Oh yeah, I think we've been through here. Any more fish around here? Oh, we're not gonna drink salt water. So as you can see, the first day is... Well, almost over. Uh, so, it will be pretty tricky to get um, 150 silver. Any more fish over here? Doesn't. Ah, oh, there we go, there we go, there we go. Got the fish, there we go. Raw salmon and seaweed. Okay. Right. Greetings, chat with friend. You all. Um. Okay, we can use it for fighting by the looks of it. We're gonna be a pitchfork fighter. I'm gonna sell it. Uh, I can sell them machete. <laughs> um. Probably shouldn't sell fish crab eye. Poisonous seed that, when grilled, is the first step in creating usable poisons. Interesting. Uh, yeah, that meat's not gonna last long. Let's sell it while we can. Let's do have some food. Mm. Yeah, so 92 silver. It's not too bad, we still need to collect... Uh, well, pretty much 60. So, we'll see how it goes. I think that's pretty much all. Um, in terms of uh, stuff that we can get here. Okay. So. Need something? Yeah, I'm going outside. Well, you got the essentials at least. Here, I'll teach you a skill. Cool. There you go. Mastering skills is the key to survival out in the wild. Okay. Mm, you should look for trainers whenever you visit a new town. 
They usually group near training equipment. Others need to be sought out. Cool. All, All right. right. I feel comfortable letting you outside the walls. Use the door when you want to head out. Stay safe out there. Cool. Okay, farewell. So let's go out. And, okay, it's taking a bit longer to load than I expected. It's probably because uh, OSB is using extra processing power, unfortunately. No. Positioning players, there we go. And we are outside! It's dark and we are thirsty. But I suppose we will continue on this journey during the next episode, because we are out of time. I actually played a little bit longer than I expected, but yeah, this game is fun. So, uh, if you're interested in it, I'll play a bit more of it. So, yeah, let's wrap things up. So, as usual, if you enjoyed the video, leave a like or drop a comment, because I always appreciate feedback. And if that's your first time watching my content and you enjoy what I do, you can always consider subscribing and hitting the bell icon in order to be kept up to date. So, for now, That'll be it. I thank you for your time, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.